wow people i <laughs> i'm going to talk about a book that i completely love and it's castles in their bones by laura sebastian and i have to say this book is amazing at the end the ending it was like ah, what the ever loving uh, yeah it's going to be a spoilers free review but yeah i mean talk about cliffhangers talk about endings and talk about going places you didn't expect the book to go i mean yeah i have been reading all of her books and i have to say that Laura Sebastian is for me an author that I love and admire and I love that she talks about families who are not exactly uh, normal, see a bracket, and uh, yeah, I mean, I identify with some of the things that we are going to be finding in her books and in the previous trilogy that she wrote, this one, the Ash Princess trilogy, we found uh, the figure of the mother as an, kind of an abusive mother, like a narcissistic mother. And this is something that we are going to find here. And let me explain what this book is about. This book is going to be following three sisters. Uh, and uh, they're going to be narrating the book. And you can see which sister is going to be doing the narration. And the three sisters are Daphne, Beatrice, and Sophronia. And we find them celebrating their birthday uh, at the beginning of the book and they know that this is the last day they're going to spend together because her mom has created this plan in which she's going to marry each one of her daughters to different kings, princes at the moment, in, in order to have them do some kind of infiltration and to be able to declare war into those territories that she is marrying her daughters into so she can absorb those territories inside her own territory. So it's like, yeah, we're going to be following, the three sisters are going to be telling us the training that they had endured at the hands of their mother and they're going to be telling the relationship each of one has with the mother and how the bringing they had shaped them as the persons that they are now and how yeah i don't want to say much about it about the plot and about everything because i did love that i never knew what was going to happen and each sister has her own unique character and her own unique set of circumstances uh, the, the circumstances that they bring into the story and the circumstances that the story prepared for, for them and the different ways in which the princesses react to the different challenges that they are, you know, facing. And I love that, for instance, Sophronia, Sophie, it's like the more gentle of the three sisters. And she's like the most soft and the mother has, has always been like fun, hair lacking and, you know, yeah, I'm not going to say much more about that, but I love how far she goes from the very first pages on the book where you can see obviously that she's the most sweet tempered, the most gentle of the three sisters. And I love how fast she groans into herself when she's allowed to do that. And how she takes the reins of her situation and the place she's in and how she tries to change the scope of things and she begins to care for people. And I love how she groans and she discovers what she's able to do. And maybe not because because of her mother, but despite her mother. And I love that. And I love the other two sisters also. And I love that each one of them found different circumstances. So Fronia, it's kind, uh, kind of in love with the prince. Uh, they have been like exchanging letters and she has grown to kind of love him. And when she meets him in person, she's kind of infatuated with him because it's like, okay, you are more or less what I expected you to be. But she's going to see that there's some things that this guy does that he doesn't exactly approve of. But I love how their relationship evolves and the different, as I say, set of circumstances that she's going to find. I'm not going to explain any more about her. And I also love that there is another sister who marries a guy and some discovers that this guy likes guys and here she's going to deal with the situation because she's like quite the, the temptress. She's used to have boys fighting over her. So she's go it's going to be nice to see how she reacts to the situation and whether or not she supports 
her supposed husband and yeah i'm not gonna say which sister it is and also i love the other sister who is was going to be marrying a guy who was dumb to die and she knew that and it served her plans because it will be easier you know to surrender the territory to her mother if, she, if it was only hers but she's going to find another prince that's going to occupy so to speak the place of her husband to be and yeah i did love uh, the relationship between these two characters because she has always been a, a woman who you know a spitfire a woman who speaks her mind she has lots of talents and lots of abilities and her mom has always taught her to tame that side of her because if she best men men are not going to like her so you know she has always pretending that she is softer and that she is not as capable as she is and she's going to find a guy who wants her as she is exactly capable uh, amazing and stronger than the guy sometimes and i love i love the chemistry i love so many things about these books yeah i'm being very big because i don't want to destroy any of the twists, mysteries, and evol evolutions of relationships that this book is going to present you, because I was mesmerized by how far the characters come and go, and everything, and the challenges they face, and I love, love, love those characters. For me, the characters came alive, not only the, the main characters, but also the secondary ones, and the plot, the different plots we have, and the, and the different brains, of realms, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I love how the situations are different from each, for each sister, how they are going to be facing different sets of circumstances, as, as I say at the beginning of the, of the review. And yeah, I love how they find themselves. And yeah, this book goes places that I wasn't expecting it to go, and it's amazing. And also we are going to find I love that we have women who are capable on their own. They can accept help and sometimes they seek help, but it's uh, because, you know, it's like, what do you need me to do? Not because uh, the guys come and say, hey, move along, I can do it better than you. No, they are like helping them. I love to have main characters who are women and who know how to deal with the cars that live, life presents them. I love the relationship with the mother. You have this abusive, controlling, of a mother and I love how the three sisters um, tell you about the relationship they have with their mother and how it shapes them and how they began to discover that maybe the fault is not in them but maybe it's on the mother and I love all this relationship because not all families are like happy families and I love that we have books where you can identify if you have one of those families where you are kind of dysfunctional so to speak so yeah uh, I love that there is lots of topics in this book, like um, the dichotomy between rich people and poorer people and how rich people sometimes extort more money and more services and how the, you know, the, the people who have not as many things end up poorer and they have to fight for the things that they have and how it makes you think about the imbalance in power. And I love also how it makes you think also in the imbalance between sexes, between men and women, and how there's characters who are going to be saying, hey, this is me, I'm a strong, bubble woman, if you can accept it, accept it, if not, deal with it. I love how it talks about abuse, about men who feel that they have the power and uh, the will uh, of domination, of dominating girls and getting what they want from them, whether they say yes or no. I love how this is something uh, that reflects the society that we have, and um, it's not, I don't know how to explain, it's not something that I love that happens, but it's something that happens sadly. And I love that you have it presented in books because it makes you think about that, about how sometimes men abuse power and how. There is a character who was in a situation in which maybe he could have helped a girl escape a disastrous event, but he got frozen and he didn't help that girl and she ended up being killed. Um, those, that character thinks it's not going to happen again. And, you know, I love how, how it makes men think about, you know, no is no and there's boundaries and there's limits and you know what I mean. And yeah, I mean, this book is amazing. I don't know what more to say about it. If you like amazing world buildings, uh, we have a map at the beginning with a real 
as I say, if you like amazing characters, amazing self-growth, if you like to read about social uh, themes, like, as I say, um, imbalance in power, like uh, selfish people that do whatever for money, about women who find their place in the world and say, hey, this is me, here I am. Um, people reacting, you know, the family you find, the family you have, the family you create, how do you, you know, break these bonds that have you submitted to people who never appreciated you, about denouncing the role that sometimes men have in society, abusing women and abusing their power, um, nobility versus not nobility, yeah, it has a mystery, just lots of twists and, and emotion and things that you aren't expecting and I can promise you, you are not expecting the ending of the first book. So yeah, when is the second one coming? <laughs> yeah, I recommend this book to you because it's completely mind-blowing and I loved every page of it. Like it, for me, it was like a five over five stars. So yeah, thank you for watching. Bye. And yeah, forgive me if it's a bit jumbled, but there's so many things I wanted to say without saying so many things because I don't want to ring the book for anyone. So yeah. Okay, uh, read it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye.